What's up, Kerr? Kind of a shit post video here. My audience is 50% American, so you, you probably wouldn't give a shit about this video. But look, you can watch it anyway. Give me watch time, they'll be sick. I was just thinking how I would love a local community, like within Singapore. And we can go do so many cool things together. We can go improve ourselves and explore our emotions together. We can discuss, we can think. So, my fellow Xinjia Boarins, I don't find many people on this self-improvement route. So I'm specifically seeking you out. If you're from Singapore, and you're into the things I'm into, like self-improvement, fitness, mental health. You know, maybe you're into gender politics or modern culture or the absolutely skilled and destroyed dating culture. Then welcome, you belong here. And maybe you struggle to find other people on the same journey as you. Three years back, I was obese. I was lonely, I was angry. I was abandoned by many friends, addicted to perpetual consumption of social media and video games. And I was bad shit undesirable to women. My mental health was all over the place and I come from a life of privilege. I lacked responsibility. I lacked the ability to express myself. I was taught I need to be a nice guy, non-needy, have no wants, no desires in life, be a aimless fool. And that's how people find me desirable. I had the personality of a plank because I never put myself out there. I was confused with the many lies that women tell of what is attractive in a man because perhaps they don't know what they find attractive actually. I was harmless. I was incompetent. I spoke like an absolute retard. I spent sec 3 and sec 4 with only one friend in school. And in sec 1 and sec 2, I was kind of a social butterfly. I was slowly abandoned because I didn't know how to operate with social norms and I had zero social intelligence. But in sec 1 and sec 2, you know, I was really confident. I went after what I want and slowly I was battered down. My playfulness, my biological masculinity, I was slowly, slowly depolarized, slowly told to become afraid to offend people around me. I didn't dare to tell the truth. So my character had no depth, had no personality. I was uninteresting, I was boring, and I couldn't listen to people because I was rushing to give advice so that I'll be as valuable to them as possible. But instead, you know, I just sound like an absolute idiot. I've learned many things. I've learned to climb the social hierarchy. I've learned and explored within myself. I've become a better person. I've become more responsible. I've improved my relationship with my family. I've improved my physical fitness. I've improved my social intelligence, my social skills. I've improved my articulation. I've improved my vocabulary. I've improved my looks. I've improved my dependencies. I've got rid of many bad habits and developed many good ones. I'm motivated, I'm grateful, and I'm spiritual. I'm looking for young men and women. Are you sick of coping with drugs, alcohol, video games, and porn? Are you sick of waiting for life to throw things at you so that you can sit there and react to it and go with the flow? Or do you want to go after what you want? Do you want to become someone special? someone interesting? Do you want to become conscious, mindfully competent? Do you want to deliberately get better in every area of your life and stop surrendering yourself to the waves of life? Imagine all of us, tired of feeling lonely, angry, resentful and lost. We all go on a hike together, discuss our lives and solutions, give one another suggestions, and listen to each other's problems genuinely. We're surrounded by others who were once angry too. Even if we might disagree, even if we might not be compatible, no matter what political side you're on, we know everyone among us has been hurt before and we can connect through that. We respect one another, we encourage one another. Yet at the same time, we are not afraid to be honest to one another. We critique, we tease, we make jokes that could offend one another. We have long, meaningful conversations. We raid gyms together and hit fucking anabolic workouts. We journal together in the woods. We can send a text about our worries and our fears anytime we want without the fear of appearing desperate join me join us subscribe right now and join the road to a better world i've been working on a discord server and i've just launched it there's no one right now but all communities have to start from somewhere so be one of the first few join us click the invite link in the description below just the thought of finding other people who can bond through their pain and their growth who are grateful who genuinely cares for one another even though we may not know each other because we are all united by this thought that each and every single one of us started wanting to be better because of pain because of anger and we can bond through that our community is going to grow and do big things and if you're not from singapore i'm talking to you as well all right this this isn't necessarily specific to singaporeans but i just had the thought that a local community would be so badass so are you ready Let's work together. Let's support one another. Let's improve each other. Let's make the relationships we deserve. Let's form wonderful bonds. It's our time now to better work. Subscribe if you want to see uh, non-refs without a shirt. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to see non-refs without a shirt.